going on you guys Anthony here from Finding Our Adventure. Today we're going to be using some USGI military surplus kit to cook some top ramen and today on the menu we have this mama ramen it's an oriental style instant ramen noodle so we're going to cook this up on video with uh, some mill surplus kit and then uh, slurp it on video and give you a review of it. We'll be using snow peak isobutane canister snow peak stove USGI canteen with cup and USGI mess kit. I'll leave a link to all the products down below. So I could just pour the water straight out into the pot like this, but I want to show you this kit. It's actually really neat. So this is all surplus gear. And you can see you got the canteen there. This normally comes stowed in there with it. So you've got the canteen. Got a pot stand like that. And then you got the canteen cup for coffee, food, whatever you want to do. And then the water bottle or canteen, whatever you want to call it, nests in there. Pretty neat little kit. They're super cheap and really fun to play around with. So we're going to add about two cups of water to the mess kit pot and boil some ramen noodles. But first, we need to attach a stove. It's a great stove. I forgot the name of it. It's not the Light Max four prong with a piezo igniter. Two with soul of the hiker hates these things. Piezos, I love them. They work every time for me. Every time, Steve. And this USGI mess kit, super awesome that it comes stowed like this. You wanna clip it. Pull your little pan out of the way. Pull your utensils out. You're left with a big pot. I guess we should fill that big pot with some water, huh? How much? Eh. Do you like your soup soupy or not? I think that's probably good. All right, watch this, Steve. Works every time. First light. Water's boiling, you got the noodles here. And we'll just open the pack up real quick. These are really affordable. It's like 50 cents a packet. They're a little smaller, so these would be great for ultralight backpacking because they're package-wise, they're like half the size of a ramen packet, a normal like uh, top ramen packet. They're very, very small, very small square. So you can see noodle size, smaller. So this would be like a maybe a little bit smaller portion, but it comes with a nice um, like oil and um, like uh, chili sauce and then there is some chili powder and then the mama packet that's what it's called so there's kind of like three packets that go in here and we'll start putting them actually into the soup right now because I reckon this won't take very long to get to a to a boil We got the noodles left, ready to go in. And the noodles look like they have some sort of, sp almost like they're pre-seasoned, actually, which is somewhat interesting. All right, you guys, we got ourselves a nice rolling boil here. Nice soft boil. We're just gonna toss those noodles right into that little pot of boiling water. And we're just gonna let them do their thing for about three minutes. Get some of that good stuff, some of that oil, right on top of the noodle, too. Mm. I'm turn this down to a slow simmer. All right, it's been about three minutes of simmering. So we're just gonna check the noodles. Already nice and soft and pulled apart here. I haven't mixed them once since that three minutes. So I'm gonna kick the water off here. This pot's gonna be hot. That's why I have this green mat here, so it'll burn my wood table. And I wanna let these cook a little longer. 
without letting too much steam out. So that's what I like about this mess kit. I'm just gonna take the mess kit, put this on like that, and I'm actually gonna lock it in place, but just keep in mind that it's gonna be hot because we just cooked on it. There we go. Expands a little when it's hot. So now this kit is steamed up. We're gonna let that cook a little longer, another couple minutes like that. And man, are these ramen noodles gonna be tasty. I'm excited. All right, let's open this up. I am getting a little hungry. It's gonna be hot. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks nice. It's gonna be very hot to eat. <laughs> Take a little bit here, as always. Just a little broth to work with. All right. So these look like traditional ramen noodles. Thin, flat, not super dense. See, this is super hot. Bon appetit. Mama ramen noodles. <clears throat> okay, so these are good room, uh, good noodles. The noodles themselves are very typical of like your standard set of ramen noodles. The sauce is nice though, cause it's very spicy. You can definitely taste that chili powder and that paste, that uh, oil that was in there. You can see the oil, which is nice. It beads off the spoon. It adds a nice spice to these noodles. Let's slurp another set. Let's try that sauce. Those are nice. Definitely want to have a cup of water with you when you're eating these because they are spicy. Let's eat a roll, rolled up like this. Okay, so a little bit to unpack there. So here's what I like about this set of ramen noodles. The noodles themselves are nice, they're light. They're not super chewy, um, so they're not super dense. It's a lightweight packet, so it's great for you ultralight guys or if you're heading out on the trail. The sauce, you might have seen it in the video that I had. The sauce itself, very oily, so you can see the oil droplets. You can see the chili paste and the chili powder in there. And what I like about this ramen is <clears throat> it doesn't taste like there is a packet in this. It kind of tastes like a broth, but because there's all those spices and that oil in there, the paste, it tastes a little different, so it's really nice. So it's a very nice flavor. I really like it. So the noodles are, you know, your typical ramen noodles. There's nothing to call home about with the noodles. All Most ramen noodles are lightweight. They don't absorb too much of the water. They're not very chewy. Um, so if they put better noodles in this, it'd be amazing. The sauce is great. Mm. Woo! <clears throat> packs a punch, though. It packs a punch. So it's spicy. I'm watering. I can see some, uh, looks like some green stuff. So they got definitely some chives or some chopped onion, whatever you want to call it. You can see all the spice there. And my eyes are watering, man. This is really good, though. This packet was like 40 cents or 60 cents, something like that. So just a couple days prior, I tried a Nissau ramen packet that was about six times as expensive and it was not six times as good. The noodles in that packet were very nice though because they were dense, chewy, 
they had flavor to them. But this one's sauce is very nice, much better. Packs a wallop of a punch. If you don't look like spice, you can probably go without the packet. But that flavor is great. Green onions in here, red chili flakes, oil paste. <clears throat> it's a very nice top ramen soup. So we'll go for our final sip here and then give you the condensed review. Hmm. All right, that's all done. Pack that away. For now. All right, I'm tearing up and sweating over here. What a wonderful, wonderful bowl of soup that I just had. So this is the Mama brand, oriental style. It looks like it's pork flavored ramen soup. So again, form factor, very small. So this packet's like half the size of like a ramen packet. It's, well not half, it's maybe like three quarters of the size. So it's a little bit smaller, but a delicious. So cup and a half of water, boil it up, put all the ingredients in, boil the noodles. Fantastic. So if you like spicy, buy this. It's very affordable, very flavor dense. It's got the green onions in there, the chili paste, the oil, the peppers, the powder. So it's a very, very nice dimensional ramen soup versus just your traditional ramen that has one flavor packet and it's just a flavor packet. This has like actual ingredients in it. You can see the green onion, you can see the chili flakes, you can see the oil in the chili paste, you can see the chili flakes. So this is a very, very, very nice um, ramen. I would rate this uh, probably so far number two on my list, this uh, Mama Ramen. And um, <clears throat> the Pancit Santan, I believe it's called, is my number one ramen that packed a insane flavor with delicious noodles. More flavor than this, similar setup, multiple packets that gave you like chili paste, oil, the packet itself. And so I rate this a close number two because this is a soup and that other one was more of like a noodle blend where you drain the water. Um, so this is a close number two. It's also very affordable. Pick it up at Walmart, a little secret. I've had these multiple times before and I've just waited a long time to video this. So <clears throat> if you wanna pick up this packet, I'm gonna link it in the description below. Or if you wanna pick up any of the gear that I use in this video, I will also link that in the description below. Not all of them will be on Amazon, just so you're aware. Thanks for watching you guys. This is another video from Anthony at Finding Our Adventure. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next adventure.